is the new Apple Silicon. In this case, the M4 Pro chip in here. Really that fast as Apple always tells us in all the keynotes and whatever. And therefore I did some benchmarking with macOS native games and Windows native games and some games that do have both versions on the MacBook Pro 2024 with an M4 Pro chip, the latest MacBook Pro with an Intel chip and with my gaming PC here and answer the question, how large is the performance difference and does it make sense to spend two and a half thousand dollars on the latest MacBook Pro just for gaming? So let's talk about the specs. The MacBook Pro has an M4 Pro chip that has 10 performance cores and four efficiency cores with a 20 core GPU. This total TDP, the total wattage it can draw is 45 watts, where the GPU can draw 32 watts compared to the latest MacBook Pro from Intel, it has an i9 9980HK chip, which itself can already draw 45 watts, just the CPU. But it has a dedicated graphics card, an AMD Radeon 5600 mobile chip, and that chip can also draw 50 watts, but a total TDP for that MacBook Pro of 95 watts. So that's more than double the energy it can draw as the MacBook Pro 2024. And the last but not least, my 2017 gaming PC, a full blown up i7 7700K chip that itself can already draw 91 watts, just the CPU. And that is a NVIDIA GTX 1070 graphic card in it, that graphic card can draw 150 watts of power. So the total power draw for CPU and GPU is 241 watts on that gaming PC, but nearly eight years old. Diablo 4, Guild Wars 2, Cyberpunk 2077 and Path of Exile 2. Here on the left you see the MacBook Pro 2024 that has to run these games via crossover as it's an ARM chip and only macOS. For the MacBook Pro 2020 I booted Windows via Bootcamp and obviously the gaming PC that only runs Windows. And here you can see Diablo 4 runs with 50 frames via crossover on the MacBook Pro. 23 frames in Windows on the MacBook Pro 2020 and 60 frames on a nearly eight year old PC. Okay, let's move on maybe to Guild Wars 2, 80 frames per second on the M4 Pro, 40 on that MacBook Pro 2020 and 90 on that full blown gaming PC. Cyberpunk, nearly the same picture, 47 frames here on the MacBook Pro 50 frames, nearly the same speed with a gaming PC and you have 17 frames on that poor old MacBook Pro 2020. And Path of Exile 2, 50 frames against 52 frames against 20 frames on this one. So is it really true what Apple always says like blazing fast speeds and pure power, just in one chip, Just you need just Apple Silicon, nothing else. Here with Windows games, you don't need the hassle with crossover or whatever. You have an eight year old gaming PC that's faster or at least the same speed as a $2,500 MacBook Pro. Okay, I know what you wanna say. The poor MacBook Pro has a translation layer in between which slows you down obviously because all the commands that were meant for Windows now have to be translated for Mac OS and into ARM via Rosetta. So two translation layers. So let's check out when we have games 
that also have a macOS version. For instance, Path of Exile 1, World of Warcraft and Minecraft. And therefore I installed the macOS version on the M4 Pro, the macOS version on the MacBook Pro 2020 and obviously the Windows version on the PC. And here you can see Path of Exile 1 has only 12 frames per second on that MacBook Pro 2020, but 51 and 53 on the MacBook Pro M4 Pro and on the PC. So what does that mean? That means that Path of Exile 1, the macOS version, is quite bad tuned for macOS. It looks like they did the Windows version and did a port to macOS, but it's not very tuned, it's not very efficient, so the Windows version is behaving way better than the macOS version. Let's have a look at World of Warcraft and Blizzard, as they started World of Warcraft, already launched that for macOS and they still optimize, obviously, because the M4 Pro chip reaches 103 frames per second in World of Warcraft, while the PC only has 70 frames with Windows and the MacBook Pro 2020 in macOS only has 24 frames. So here you can see that Blizzard obviously has tuned World of Warcraft for Apple Silicon on macOS. So it's quite five times faster than on macOS with an Intel chip and an AMD graphics card. Minecraft, same picture here, 90 frames per second on the M4 Pro, 82 frames per second on the PC and only 25 frames on the MacBook Pro with macOS. But there's one more thing, okay? Let us check the macOS versions against the Windows version. Path of Exile 1 and World of Warcraft both have both versions. And we already thought that the macOS version, for instance, from Path of Exile is quite less tuned than the Windows version. And here you can see Path of Exile either on macOS or the Windows version via crossover, they reach the same frames per second on the M4 Pro. So even though there is a translation layer in between, it's still as fast as the macOS version when you compare the Windows version. On the MacBook Pro 2020, you have the very slow 12 frames in macOS versus 34 frames with Windows. You see how better the Windows version runs on the same hardware than on the macOS. And just for comparison, the PC does 53 frames in the Windows version. And for World of Warcraft, on the M4 Pro, the macOS version has 103 frames per second, while with crossover, now you see the impact of the translation layer. It only reaches 61 frames when you start the Windows version with crossover on that M4 Pro. So that's from 103 to 61, that's the impact the translation layer needs to translate all the code. If it's good optimized for Apple Silicon, it's a huge impact, but at least still playable. And you can see here on the MacBook Pro 2020, we reached 24 frames with macOS and 40 frames with Windows. So the Windows version is still better optimized than the macOS version, or the actual version of World of Warcraft is already tuned for Apple Silicon and the Intel version for macOS from World of Warcraft is really slow and not tuned anymore because it only reaches 24 frames on the same hardware than it would reach 40 frames per second on Windows. Conclusion, is it worth getting a $2,500 MacBook Pro for gaming? It depends, it really depends. It depends on the games you're playing. For instance, World of Warcraft, Minecraft, Baldur's Gate 3, The New Prince of Persia, and so on. There are more and more games that are coming to macOS, and as they are quite new, they are tuned and optimized for Apple Silicon, and they really run well on that MacBook Pro. I was playing Diablo 4 the last one and a half years on my MacBook Pro 2020, on Windows via Bootcamp. And as soon as I started that 
the fans were revving up and it really had a hard time keeping up 30 frames and making a lot of noise. On the MacBook Pro M4 Pro, the fans have around 2,500 to 3,000 RPM, are quite silent, and they reach 50 to 60 frames. Very nice playable with crossover. And if I wanted to save some money, I would just use my nearly eight year old gaming PC that brings about the same performance with Windows games as the M4 Pro. So if you have some Windows games you'd like to play on Mac OS with Apple Silicon, now is your chance because you better subscribe my channel, click the bell for notification because you don't want to miss my next video. A complete in-depth tutorial about crossover which enables Windows software on Mac OS and its free and open source alternative whiskey with explanations about all the details, all the whiskey, bottles, wine and so on whatever there is all in my next video. By the way I will give you the graphic settings that I used on my benchmarks right at the end of this video so you have some kind of optimized settings for the M4 Pro at least for the games that I tested. If you have any questions, want to discuss something, you find something out, you get a game running that doesn't work before, join my Discord server. More than 3,300 members already discussing macOS on unsupported Macs, gaming on macOS, Chrome OS on old MacBooks and so on and so on. A great community to join and to help each other and to find some solutions. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on my channel and have a good day. Bye-bye.